In this second video, I'll demonstrate a recovery of a NAS share on Cohesity. So I'm going to go into protection, and I'm going to look at the protection job where my NAS share was actually backed up. It was Jeff job 3, and in this most recent run at 832, I can see that share 02 was backed up. So I'm going to come over here to recovery, I'm going to select recover, and I'm going to choose NAS. And the search bar will allow me to find exactly what I'm looking for. Share 02, there it is. I'll select it. I'll keep the default task name. I have the option to choose a different recovery point here. Uh, there's only one available, as this was just backed up today. And then I have the option to choose QoS policy. And the reason this is applicable is because we're not actually conducting a traditional recovery where we migrate data from the backup target back to the primary system. Uh, we're going to serve that content directly from the backup target itself because Cohesity has that ability when it comes to NAS. So in order to do so, I need to make sure that I'm getting the proper I.O. from the Cohesity when I'm serving that back to a user community or an application. In this case, I'm going to select Test Dev High. This will ensure that I have uh, access to or I.O. will be prioritized in such a way that it will minimize latency. I'm going to keep the target as the default and I'm going to create the task and I'm going to view the task details and as you can see it's instantly a success and the reason for that is that no content or data actually had to be moved uh, really all that was done is a share was put in place to make that content available I'll copy the path for that share and I'll paste it directly into here and Essentially, I've just recovered the data. It's now available to me. I can browse the files, ensure that all the correct files are there from that specific recovery point in time. And I can compare it to the source in this case because it's just a test and the source is available. Here's share 02, so uh, same thing. System 32, just a, a directory from a Windows operating system that was taken as a, a test piece of content. but. A single directory with many subdirectories underneath, essentially we see the same thing. Uh, a quick check on the permissions just to make sure that those were carried over in the recovery. Here you can see domain administrators have full control, users, the built-in users have read lists and special permissions available. That's on the source, on the Cohesity, we should see the same exact thing. And we do with domain admins full control and users with read list and special permissions available. So at this point, I have the ability to really take one of two paths. I can do a granular recovery where I come into the Cohesity system and I look at the individual files and potentially pull a file uh, from here back to the primary system as such. And I'm going to override that warning. Um, or I could actually make this entire share available to my application or my users, uh, at which point I just change a DNS entry and I'm off and running. Uh, no time to actual recovery. My RTO is driven down dramatically. So that is a recovery of a NAS, uh, NAS share on a Cohesity system.